Hello, I'm Neil Robinson from Stoff Machinery and I'm the sales manager. I just wanted to take five minutes out this afternoon to talk to you about the contractor bobbin reeler, which is our mid-range machine within the bobbin reelers. Okay, so the first point I wanted to start with really is how it's coupled onto the tractor. And as you can see, this has got a female A-frame on it. Uh, and this A-frame is the standard type, it's double skinned. So again, a lot of our competitors are only single skinning, double skinned with a backing plate as well. And these, and these gussets here give it loads and loads of strength. Potentially you're gonna be carrying a thousand meters of hose, which may or may not have been cleaned out properly on the front of a tractor doing 40, 50 K. So there's an awful lot of um, pressure around this part of the system. And so it's well proved and definitely strong enough. Um, and on the back of here, you can also see there's a catch mechanism and the catch mechanism for the A-frame linkage is adjustable as well. So there's things where we try to accommodate that. The frame itself is fully galvanized and everything we do is fully galvanized. We're thinking about longevity. We're building it for, for strength and longevity rather than for a price. Um, lots of gussets and threads have been built in. So you can see the gussets here on the corners and the gussets down below. You've got the feet on there to try and restrict and, and stop it sinking into the ground when it's parked. Um, and then the sides here are built from profile. So to try and reduce the weight a little bit, but incorporate strength, we've 12 mil thick profiles folded either side and inside those are the supporting profile. It's trying to give something that loads and loads of strength without getting too heavy. Um, and you can see then there is also a guard to support the actual hydraulic drive system. Three machines within the bobbin reeler range. The Farmer, which, um, or the Farmer Plus, which has a chain drive. This is the contractor, uh, uh, which has, a, as you can see, a gearbox drive, which is hydraulic. And you've got a contractor plus, which is the drop bobbin. This one is, again, is, is unique because from a maintenance point of view, it's very, very clean. You know, chains or adjustments to do on a daily basis. Um, you've got a level plug here for the oil which is a, obviously an Allen key, and under here an Allen key to empty, breather on top. Uh, it's all self-contained, nice and clean, and away from the slurry. Uh, a, a RV valve there to, to look after the gearbox, and you can see we're pre, pre-setting the pressure relief on that. So it, it's all neat and tidy, and, and no oil and working parts around the slurry, which is a, a huge benefit. So. If I just move over to the other side, or well, you can see it on this machine here, uh, both that gearbox side and the and the freewheel side have got a 55 millimeter shaft. This has got a bearing on the inside, and you can see here we've cut away this um, profile here, so you can get in there with a grease nip. You see the, the, the grease sign. Um, so we're also trying to think about day-to-day -day maintenance and making things as easy as possible for you all, really. So. That, that's the frame covered, and if we then start to look at the actual bobbin itself, so the bobbin, as I've said, it'll hold a uh, thousand meters of four inch, potentially a thousand meters of five inch, especially if it's rubber. And if you move on to six inch, you're looking at 800 meters. Um, the sides, very, very pretty as they are, they are galvanized underneath the powder coat in. So again, it, it, it continues that theme of galvanizing everything that's getting covered in slurry. Um, lots of strength and you can see the tie off points we're trying to think about operators and tying off those ratchet straps at all at all times uh, an open trough full width so it doesn't matter where you want to start with putting the, the actual coupling in you've got a choice right the way across the board i know a lot of our competitors restrict you to one or two holes so we try to make it nice and open we feel that the box section here gives you a better opportunity to put um, tension on the actual hose. We feel a round section doesn't quite put as much tension, doesn't quite pull as tight. Um, strength built in here as well. So again, because it's open, we want it to build strength in. So there's no risk of crushing this U-shape here. So those are in there. And, and pretty much everybody is either using the, the stalks or the shug. Uh, when you're using bobbins and open bobbins because of the fact they've got no tail on basic or a limited tail and therefore they're not going to damage the hose the risk is that they drop out the first time you turn that reel so what we've done is we've created a hole in that profile so we sit that through there potentially that's going to well, not potentially it does it stops that hose dropping out the first time you turn the wheel or turn the bobbin the risk of not doing that is it drops out and you're in and out and in and out of the tractor like a yo-yo 
Um, another couple of things really to mention from there is there is an opportunity to put uh, real dividers in there and we've got three uh, bolt holes for that so you could split the, the reel in half into, into thirds, lots of variation there. And the last thing really to mention, and we do sell an awful lot of, is the is the a bonnet guard that bolts on here and is a tubular, comes up here, across here and down here. Sorry, I've not got one on this machine. But basically, when you're, reeling, when you're reeling in, you get that last piece, it potentially stops this flipping over and hitting the cab of your a very expensive tractor. In theory, it just catches on there and goes back down. So we're, we're trying to think of everything in terms of options as well as um, operator friendliness. And longevity really so, uh, and again the, the final piece of the jigsaw really is then the operator's manual um, and, and so with every machine you will get an operator's manual it tells you how to operate the thing obviously um, but also a parts book so if you want to contact your local dealer for after sales or you need anything the information is in the book and also you'll find in here the C marking as well as the UK C UK C A marking. So everything is thought about and everything is is done in the right way basically. So okay, I hope that gives you a nice introduction to the contractor Bobbin Reeler and um, if you need any further help just give us a shout. Thank you.